where NASA core principal Kalonzo Musioka has this afternoon arrived at the home of the late member of parliament Francis Nyenze in Kitui where reporter Patrick Amimo is following, following the events. Patrick, good afternoon. What more can you tell us from there? Good afternoon, Michelle. At the Kitui home of former Kitui West MP, uh, Dr. Fra uh, Francis Nyenze, who passed on uh, on December 5th and was buried on 19th December. Uh, this time, during the burial, uh, the wiper party leader, Kalonzo Musioka, who is also NASA co-principal, was out of the country uh, nursing his wife in Germany. He only jetted in on Wednesday morning, and that's why he's seen it befitting to come to the family, condole with the family, and also pay homage to his uh, his, uh, his, uh, his uh, body friend and also a, a, a very a, a useful member of the YIPA party. Uh, Francis Nyenze, remember, was introduced into politics by uh, Kalonzo Musioka in 1997 uh, when he contested this uh, Kitui West parliamentary seat, uh, defeating then Nyiva Mwendwa, and we saw him appointed uh, Minister for Environment and uh, then, then later Sports in the Moi administration. Uh, today, Kalonzo has, uh, has checked in at this home, uh, his rural home, and uh, also accompanying uh, Kalonzo is uh, Kitui, Kitui Governor Charity Ngilu. We also have Makweni, Makweni Governor, Professor uh, Kivuda Kibwana, also the chairman of WIPA, WIPA Democratic Movement Party. Uh, also, uh, they are also accompanied by the senator for Kitui, uh, that is Enok, Enok Wambua, and other members of the county assemblies that are present. So what is happening now is that uh, once he checked, he checked in, he went to the inside the house to condole with the, 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 the family. Uh, we understand after that he'll come to lay a wreath. In a few minutes he'll come to lay a wreath at, uh, at the, at the, gra the gravesite before uh, I can, uh, they, they, they can start any uh, before they can, uh, the, the function can start. But as it were, during these, um, the absence of Kalonzo Musioka in the country, we saw there was NASA. They did, NASA did boycott the October 26th election, and they're saying that they did indicate that they were supposed to be, they, they, there were plans to swear in uh, Raila Odinga as president, and Kalonzo Musioka as a, a deputy president for the people's president, a function that was to be done on Jamuhuri Day, but that, uh, that activity was called off because Kalonzo was not in the country then, and and now that he's, he's, uh, he's checked in, uh, we expect uh, maybe to hear more from uh, Kalonzo Musioka on the plans by NASA to swear in uh, Raila Odinga as uh, the pre people's president and him, Kalonzo Musioka, as the deputy people's president. A matter that an activity that has seen uh, uh, raised political temperatures. We've seen uh, the Jubilee side try to ask uh, the NASA side to, to, to turn down their plans and also the diplomatic community, community coming on board. So that is what is happening here. Later, we expect. Uh, uh, the Kalonzo will be giving a statement after this particular activity. Uh, back to studio. Michelle? All right. Uh, many thanks, uh, Patrick and Mimo. They are coming to us live from uh, Kitui, the home of the late uh, Kitui Member of Parliament, uh, Francis Nyenze. Looking, look, taking a look at live pictures there uh, from uh, Kitui County. This is uh, Kalonzo Musioka's first public appearance in about uh, two months uh, since uh, both he and uh, NASA leader Royal Odinga withdrew from the uh, repeat uh, presidential election in October, claiming it would be rigged in favor of of President Uhuru Kenyatta. Kalonzo Musioka has had a rather lengthy stay abroad, one that has also sparked speculation about his future in the national super alliance with the coalition there, just as Patrick Amimo details, giving updates about its moves as part of its national resistance movement, the most important being the swearing in of Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Musioka as the leaders of the People's Republic of Kenya. Kalonzo Musioka is just about to lay a wreath at the grave of the late Kitui Member of Parliament, Francis Nyenze, after which he will be addressing the press. More to follow.